Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Tuesday, June 29th, 2021. Today I'm going to recap last night's Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final. Last night's Game 5 of the Western Conference Finals. Look ahead to today's Eastern Conference Finals, Game 4 in the NBA. Major League Baseball, WNBA, we'll look ahead to tonight's games. UEFA, College World Series, tennis, news and notes, and my best bet of the day. All right, we are going to start with the Stanley Cup Final. Um, Game one was last night, and the Lightning came out blazing with a 5-1 victory over the Montreal Canadiens took a 1-0 series lead. The number three started game with the goal. Eric Cernick, the number two started game with three assists. Brandon Point, number one started game with two goals and an assist. Nikita Kucherov. So what a game! Uh, what a game for the Lightning, as they take a quick 1-0 series lead. All right, NBA playoffs. Um. You look back on Game Five of the Western Final. Look at the Game Four of the Eastern Final. Clippers over the Suns, one sixteen, one hundred two. The force of Game Six for the Clippers. Paul George, forty one points, thirteen boards, six assists. He was the best player on the court last night, no doubt about it. Devin Booker, thirty one points to lead the Suns. And then tonight you have. Game four from Atlanta, Bucks Hawks, eight thirty on TNT. I do think that Trey Young will play. Um my projection is Milwaukee one total two twenty seven. And Milwaukee is a pretty big favorite, which surprises me. I think it's the doubt of uh, um, Young. Bucks six and a half total to eighteen and a half. Um, just want to see something here real quick. Questionable. Him and Young is still both play. Um. So, pick for the game uh, because of the health of Young. Um, I would have loved to pick the Hawks as a dog in this spot, but because of Young's health and the bruise. And even the over, I don't think, is really that smart of a play. But the Clippers went over solely because they were hitting threes last night. And I think that the uh, both the Bucks and Hawks could do the same thing. So, I'm going to go... Over to eighteen and a half and minus one oh eight. And I'm gonna say the Hawks win. I'm gonna go uh I the official podcast pick is to be under two eighteen and a half. I'm gonna give it out as a play. I like the Hawks and the points too, and I sprinkle a little bit on plus two oh five as well. Alright, Major League Baseball. We will go over the results from yesterday, and we will look ahead to tonight's games. Rockies over the Pirates, 2 0. The Rockies are 32 and 47. Pittsburgh, 29 and 48. Reds over the Phillies, 12 to 4. It's a makeup game from June 2nd. Cincinnati, 30 and 9 and 38. Philly, 36 and 40. Angels over the Yankees, 5 to 3. Angels, 38 and 40. Yanks, 40 and 38. Nats over the Mets, 8-4. The, the Nats, 38-38. Mets, 40-34. Indians over the Tigers, 13-5. Indians, 42-33. Detroit, 34-45. and 45. Red Sox over the Royals, 6-5. The Red Sox, 48-31. KC, 33-44. Orioles over the Astros, 9-7. So, this was 4-4 four, four in the 8th. And then, uh, there were 8 runs in the ninth. So, uh. I want best bet pretty easily. Baltimore twenty five and fifty four. Houston forty eight and thirty one. Brewers over the Cubs fourteen to four. The Brewers had a ten run eighth inning, which was amazing. Milwaukee forty six and thirty three. Chicago forty two and thirty seven. 
Cardinals over the Diamondbacks seven to one. The Cardinals thirty eight and forty one. Arizona twenty two and fifty eight, and the Dodgers over the Giants three to two. The Dodgers forty eight and thirty one. San Francisco fifty and twenty eight. Twins White Sox postponed makeup date July nineteenth. All right. The games for tonight, 7 o'clock, you have the Angels and the Yankees. Andrew Heaney and Jamison Tyone. Um, The Yankees are slight favorites at minus 154, Angels plus 130. Slight's an understatement. They're pretty good favorites. Over under 10.5. Over is minus 105, under is minus 115. Angels plus 1.5 is minus 154. Yankees minus 1.5 is plus 128. Um, the Yankees have not been hitting the ball lately. That's the tempting part about going under, but both these pitchers are not good. So I'm going to take an over 10.5 and minus 105. I don't like the pick. It's not going to be best bet, spoiler alert, but that's the pick I'm going to give out for this game. And then let's say the Yanks uh, end the four-game skid here as well. Marlins, Phillies, Trevor Rogers, and Vince Velasquez. Marlins minus 118. Phillies even money over on the rate and a half. Overs minus 118. Others minus 104. Marlins minus 1.5 is plus 136. Phillies plus 1.5 is minus 164. I'm going under 8.5 and half at minus 104. Trevor Rogers is an absolute beast. Braves Nationals. Rich Hill and Joe Ross. Um, I don't know why the lines are not up for this game. They should be. There's probably an injury or something, but um, if the total is anything like less than eight and a half, I'm going to jump on the over. Mariners, Blue Jays, Chris Flexen and Robbie Ray. The Blue Jays are minus 210. The Mariners are plus 176. Over under nine and a half. Over is minus 114. Under is minus 106. Seattle plus one and a half. And Toronto minus one and a half is minus 110 each. Um... I'm going to go with the not popular pick. I'm going to go under right now at minus 106. Both these pitchers have actually been solid this season. Tigers Indians. Jose Arena and JC Mejia. Indians minus 198. Detroit plus 166. Over under 9.5. Over is minus 115. Under is minus 105. Detroit plus 1.5 is minus 118. Cleveland minus 1.5 is minus 102. I'm going over 9.5 minus 115. I think that there's a chance that the Indians do it by themselves again. You wouldn't be shocked if the Tigers contributed to that a little bit as well, actually. Um, Royals Red Sox from Fenway. Uh, Brad Keller and Nick Paveda. The Red Sox are minus 190. Casey's plus 160 over under 10.5. Over is minus 115. Under is minus 105. Casey plus 1.5 is minus 120. Red Sox minus 1.5 is even money. I'm going to go with the Red Sox, minus one half and even money. They've been on a roll, um, going for five straight tonight. Um, Padres Reds, Blake Snell and Tony Santalon. Padres minus 166, the Reds plus 140, over under 10, minus 110 each way. San Diego minus one half is minus 108, Cincinnati plus one half is minus 111. Um, I'm going with the Reds, plus 140. Um, that's the dog I like the most tonight. Um, obviously, Blake Snell's not pitched well this year, so I'm going with the Reds, plus 140. is a nice priced underdog. 720, the Mets and the Braves. Tyler McGill and Charlie Morton. Um... Braves minus 164, Mets plus 138, over under 9, over is minus 104, under is minus 118. Mets plus 1.5 is minus 146, Braves minus 1.5 is plus 122. Charlie Morton's pitched very well this year and very recently of the Braves. Um, I think he's getting a lot of respect in the market. This is a hard one, but um, I'm going to lay it with the Braves. Minus one half and plus 122. The McGill's not very good. Morton is very good. So I'm going to lay it with the Braves. Minus one half plus 122. 8 o'clock Orioles, Astros. Jose Yardikin, we don't know what's going for Baltimore. We don't have the lines up yet. But if the total's anything less than 10, I'm taking the over. 
Cubs, Brewers, Zach Davies, and Brendan Woodruff. The Brewers are minus 20. The Cubs are plus 184 over under 7.5, minus 120 each way. Cubs plus 1.5 is minus 125. Brewers minus 1.5 is plus 124. I'm going over 7.5, minus 110. Um, and an inning like the Brewers had last night is an example of why um, totals with such a low number are enticing. Twins, White Sox, Kenta Maeda, and Lucas Giolito. These two were supposed to start last night. White Sox minus 142, Twins plus 120, over under 8.5. Overs minus 105, others minus 115. Twins plus 1.5 is minus 170, White Sox minus 1.5 is plus 140. I'm going to go over 8.5 and, and minus 105. I think one of these offenses will get to one of the team's bullpens. 8.15, Diamondbacks Cardinals. Caleb Smith and Carlos Martinez. Cardinals minus 162. Diamondbacks plus 136. Over under 9. Overs minus 108. Unders minus 112. D-backs plus 1.5 is minus 142. Cardinals minus 1.5 is plus 118. Um, Caleb Smith has actually been a good Diamondbacks pitcher this year. But I still can't bet on this team to win. Going under 9.5 and minus 112. Let's say Carlos Martinez throws us back the clock a little bit. And this game is like a 5-3 to three Cardinals win. 8.30, Pirates, Rockies. Chase DeYoung and Herman Marquez. Rockies minus 180, Pirates plus 152, over under 11. Overs minus 104, unders minus 118. Pittsburgh plus 1.5 is minus 122. Rockies minus 1.5 is plus 102. I'm going under 11, minus 118. Um, the Pirates are just awful offensively, awful. Herman Marquez has not been that good this year. But he's still a decent pitcher. So under 11, minus 118. 930, Rangers A's. Mike Fulton, Nevich, and James Caprellian. A's minus 190, Texas plus 160, over under 8.5. Overs minus 122, under is even money. Oakland minus 1.5 is plus 108. Texas plus one half is minus one thirty. I'm gonna lay with Oakland minus one half and plus one oh eight. James Caprelli has been a nice keeper for Oakland. Um that's a somebody that got back from the Yankees in a sunny great trade back in two thousand seventeen. And he's been a great contributor. So I'm going Oakland minus one half and plus one oh eight. And last but not least, ten o'clock on ESPN, the Giants and the Dodgers, great game. Kevin Gossman and Walker Buehler. Kevin Gossman's another one that's having a career year for the Giants. We talked about Alex Cobb. We talked about Anthony Scafani. Kevin Gossman also as well. Dodgers minus 152. The Giants plus 128. Over under 7.5. Overs minus 104. Unders minus 118. Giants plus 1.5 is minus 176. Dodgers minus 1.5 is plus 146. I know that the Dodgers have been getting healthy lately. I know I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going with the Giants plus 128 to bounce back and um, to end the Dodgers losing streak or the winning streak at four. Plus 128 on the road on ESPN against the Dodgers. All right. Now I'm going to look at tonight's WNBA slate. Um, Seven o'clock, you have the Liberty and the Dream. Um. Liberty trying to get above 500. The dream has fallen off a little bit after a nice start to the year. I'm going to say New York wins this one on the back of uh, Benicia Laney, who's been their best player this year. It's surprising it hasn't been um, Ionescu. And then on ESPN2, you have the Suns and the Mystic. It's, it's a Commissioner's Cup game. Um, Dewana Bonner's been really good this year, but... Tina Charles has been money. So I'm going to go with Washington at home to get back to 500. On the back of Tina Charles against Connecticut. Okay, now we will do um, UEFA from yesterday and look ahead to today, which is the last day of the round of 16. Spain over Croatia, 5-3 to three in extra time. 
Um, Petri scored an own goal for Croatia. Um, and then Pablo Sarabia ties it in one for Spain. Then Cesar Azpilqueta in the 57th minute gives Spain a 2-1 lead. Then Spain goes up 3-1 on a goal by Ferran Torres. And then Mislav Orsic gets Croatia within one in the 85th minute. Then Mario Pazalik ties it at three against Spain in the 92nd minute. And then Alvaro Moreira in the 100th minute gives Spain the lead back at four to three. And then to put it away, Mikel Oyarzabal in the 103rd minute to put Spain up five to three. Switzerland upsets France on penalty kicks. So it's a 3 3 draw in the penalty shootout. Was. 5-4 in favor of Switzerland. Um, first goal of the game was scored by Haris Seferovic in the 15th minute for Switzerland to give them a 1-0 lead. Then Karim Benzema in the 57th minute ties it at 1 for France. And then Benzema gives France a 2-1 lead in the 59th minute. Then Paul Pogba in the 75th minute puts France up 3 to 1. 3 1 lanes are not safe in soccer as we saw yesterday. As we saw two teams come back from 3 1 down. One um, obviously did not win. That was um, Croatia. But 3 1 leads are not the safest in soccer. Then Haris Sefrovic again in the 81st minute um, gets. Switzerland within 3-2. And then Mario Gavranovic in the 90th minute ties it at 3 for Switzerland. Then we go to the penalty shootout. Um, so first up went um, Gavranovic. He kicks off the scoring. Then Pogba went, he scores. Fabian Schar scores next from Switzerland. Then Francis Oliver Giroud scores in the shootout. Then Maniel Akanji scores for Switzerland in the shootout. Then it's Marcus Theram for France. Then it's Ruben Vargas for Switzerland. Then Presnel Kimpembe for France. Then Admir Mamedi. And then the miss by Kilan Mbappe for France. And then Switzerland hangs on for the win on penalties. All right. Two games today 12 o'clock in ESPN. You have England. And Germany. This should be a good game. England's plus 135. Germany's 2 to 1. Draws plus 220. Um, Germany was in Group F. And England was in. Group D. England 2 and 1 and 0. And Germany 1 1 and 1. Um, I'm going to go with England plus 135 in this match against Germany. Um, won't be shocked if either team wins, but I'm going to go England plus 135. And then 3 o'clock, you have Sweden and Ukraine. Sweden. Group A, 2-1-0. And Ukraine was in Group C, 1-0-2.
Um, Sweden's plus 135. Ukraine's plus 210. The draw's plus 210. I'm going Sweden plus 135. I think Sweden's the better team. So I'm going to go Sweden plus 135 against Ukraine. All right. College World Series. Game one last night. It was just pure domination from Vanderbilt as they come out on top by a score of nine to two to take a one oh lead in the series. I'm sorry, eight to two. Um Mississippi State's pitcher, McLean, couldn't even make it out of the first inning. Although, they did get a homer in the first inning as well. And Jack Leiter is Jack Leiter, six and eight straight, two and runs, three walks, eight strikeouts. He's just been fabulous. He's money. And tonight is game two. At 7 o'clock on ESPN. Um, I was trying to see if we had um, odds on here for this game. Um, I don't see it, so... Um, Although it would be really cool if we did have the College World Series. But I'm going to say Mississippi State bounces back tonight to force a decisive Game 3 tomorrow night. So Mississippi State wins tonight, and then you'll see Kuma Rocker on Wednesday trying to close it out for Vandy. So I'm going to say that um, Mississippi State wins tonight and bounces back. All right, now we will go over the results from Wimbledon Day 1. For both the men's and the women's sides. And we look ahead to day two of the first round of the Wimbledon. We will start with the men's results. There's a couple of suspended matches. I wonder if that was due to weather. Diego Schwartzman over Benoit Pierre in three sets suspended. Lloyd Harris over Ricardus Barrancas in three suspended. Gael Monfils over Chris O'Connell in three. That was suspended. Igor Garasimov over Jay Clark. Um... Actually, no, these are all suspended matches that are still going. But as of, I'm just saying as of right now, suspended matches. Um, um, Igor Garisimov and Jake over Jake Clark and four suspended. And Oscar Ott over Arthur Rinderknecht. In five, and that's suspended. That's as of right now. Finals. Liam Brody over Marco Cicinato in three. Vasek Pospisil over Roberto Cabrellas Beta in three. Andy Murray over Nicolos Vachalivi in four. Pedro Martinez over Stefano Treviglia in four. Dominic Kofor upsets 2017 and Riley Opelka in three. 25 seeded Karen Kak Navarro over Mackenzie McDonald in four. Andre Rublev over Federico Del Bonis in four. Martin Fuskovic upsets 19 seeded Janik Skinner in four. Kevin Anderson over Marcelo Tomas Barrios Barra in four. 
Mjolnir and Kekvavik over Fasundo Bounges in four. Jerry Vesley over Yanni Kaufman in three. Andreas Seppi over Joa Sosa in four. 18 of Roberto Batista Agut over John Millman in four. Dennis Kuzo over Alejandro Dadovi Fokina in five. Francis Tiafo upsets three seed of Stefano Sipias in three. And one seed of Novak Djokovic over Jack Draper in four. And again, the suspended matches. Nine seed of Diego Schwartzman and Benoit Pierre in the third round or third match, third set. And then live right now, Lloyd Harrison, Ricardus Barrancas in the third set. Gail Monfils and Chris O'Connell, third set suspended. Igor Grasimov and Jay Clark, fourth set suspended. And Oscar Ott and Arthur Rindernetch in the fifth set suspended. All right. There's a lot going on right now. Um, in the third set, 22 seated Dan Evans and Feliciano Lopez. I think Evans will win this one. Dusan Lajovic and Gil Simone in the third set. Looks like Lajovic will close it out. Pierre Hughes, Herbert, and Pablo and Duhar. I'm going to go and Duhar in four here. Zong Zizid and Antoine Huang. I'm going to go Huang in four. Tensi to Dennis Shapalov and Phil Kohlschreiber. We'll go Shapalov in four. Alex Demeanor and Sebastian Corda will go Demeanor in five. I think he'll rebound. Hoon Sawu and Daniel Mauser. We'll go Mauser in four. And Fabio Fugnini and Albert Ramos Vanolas. We're going to go Fugnini in four. Still to come on the men's side, Richard Gosiket and Yoichi Sugita. We're going to go Gosset in four. Talon, Greek Spore, and Alexander Zavara will go with the four seed in three. Tenny Sagrin and Norbert Gombos. We're going to go Sagrin in four. Pablo Cuevas and Laszlo Dare. We're going to go Cuevas in four. Mark Pullman's and Lu Yen Soon. We're going to go Pullman's in four. 17 seeded Kristen Garin and Bernabe Zapta Morales. We're going to go with Garin in three. Juan Incognicio, Londero, and Gianluca Mager. We're going to go with Gianluca Mager in four. 14 seeded Hubert Hurtgaz and Lorenzo Mussetti. We're going to go with Hurtgaz in four. Fernando Verdasco and Grigor. Dimitriov, we're going to go with the 18th seed in four. Phil Krajcevic and Alex Bolt, we're going to go with Krajcevic in three. 31 seed of Taylor Fritz and Brandon Nakashima, we're going to go with Fritz in four. Nick Kyragos and Hugo Humbert, we're going to go with the upset. Nick Kyragos over the 21 seed in four. 32 seed in Marine Silic and Salvador Caruso, we're going to go Silic in five. 16 to Roger Federer and Adrian Manorino. We're going to go Federer in three. Steve Johnson and Dennis Novak. We're going to go Johnson in four. 29 seated Cameron Nori and Lucas Poli. We're going to go with Nori in four. Emil Rusavori and Marcos Garon. We're going to go with Rusavori in four. Marco Tringoletti. And Benjamin Bonzi, we're going to go Trugaletti in four. Mikhail Kukushkin and Alexander Bublik, we're going to go Bublik in four. James Duckworth and Radu Albot, we're going to go Albot in three. Yasutaka Uchiyama and Carlos Alcalaraz Garfia, we're going to go with Alcalaraz Garfia in four. Daniel Alai Galan and Federico Coria. We're going to go with Coria in four. 23 seated Lorenzo Sonigo and Pedro Sousa. We're going to go with Songdo in 
three. Jan Leonard Strop and Daniil Mavetta are going to go with the two seed and four. 16 seeded Felix Olger, Asalime, and Thiago Montiero. We're going to go with the upset Montiero in five. Joe Wilfred Songa and Mikael Yelmer. We're going to go with Songa in four. And last but not least, Sam Query and the 11 seed Pablo Carrera Busta. We're going to go Carrera Busta in three. All right, women's results from yesterday. And we'll look ahead to today. Two suspended. Favara Gracevea and Petra Martic. That's in, in the second set. And Madison Brangle and Christina McHale in the third set. Finals. 18 seeded Elena Rabakina over Christina Mladovic in two. Christiane over Heather Watson in three. Arena Camelia Begu over Katie Volonets in two. Seven seeded Aga Swiatek over Say Sui in two. Four seeded Sophia Kennan over Wang Xinu in two. Solane Stevens upsets 10 seeded Petra Kivitova in two. Maria Osaria Serrano over Anna Kalinskaya in, two, in three. Lauren Davis over Jodiana Barrage in two. Danielle Collins over Polona Hersog in three. 32 seeded Ekaterina Alexandrova over Laura Siegman in two. Victoria Golubic over 29 seeded Veronica Kumaratova in three. 11 seeded Gabrin Muguruza over Fiona Farrow in two. 23 seeded Madison Keys over Katie Swan in two. Leslie Kirkovy over Slitmana Kunitsova in two. Katie Bolter over Danielle Leo in three. Two seeded Arena Sabalenka over Monica Niskolescu in two. And that's it among the women's matches. And looking ahead to today, going on right now, you got Lumia Samsonova and Kaya Kanepi in the first set. Let's say Samsonova wins that in two. 28 seeded Allison Risk and Teresa Martikova in the third set. I'm going to say Risk steals it. Just going final, Shelby Rogers over Samantha Stoser in three sets. Live right now, Zulin and Mona Barthel in the third set. We're going to go with Zulin to close it out. Live right now, Mihaila Buzernescu and Venus Williams. Let's say that Venus comes through here in the third set. Marie Buzkova and Vera Zivaneva. We're going to go with Zivaneva in three here. Miss Guy Doy and Claire Liu. We're going to say that Liu hangs on in the third set. Finals so far 13 seeded Elise Mertens over Harriet Dart in two. 15 seeded Maria Sakari over Aaron Talks of Russ in two. 8 seeded Carolina Pliskova over Tamara, Zinis Tamara Zinisek in two. Nadia Podoroska over An Lee in two. Donna Vecic over Anastasia Podopova in two. 21 seeded Anz Jabor over Rebecca Peterson in two. And still to come today, Clara Tawson and Barbara Krajikova are going to go with the 14th seed in two. Andrea Petrovic and Jasmine Paolini are going to go Petrovic in two. 22 seeded Jessica Pagula and Caroline Garcia. We're going to go with Garcia in three in the upset seed wise. Elena Vicenina and Martina Trevisan. We're going to go with Viznina in two. 17 seeded Kiki Bertens and 
Marta Kostiuk. We're going to go with Bertens in two. One seated Ashley Barty and Carla Suarez Navarro. We're going to go with Barty in two. Anna Blinkova and Tamea Babos. We're going to go with Blinkova in two. 20 seated Coco Goff and Francesca Jones. We're going to go with Goff in three. Anastasia Sevastova and Serena Diaz. We're going to go with Sevastova in two. Sarah Saboras Tormo and Anna Kanju. We're going to go with Serbeas Tormo in three. Nayo Habino and Brindara Para. We're going to go with Para in two. 25 seated Angelique Kerber and Nina Stajovic. We're going to go with Kerber in three. Serrano Christia and Samantha Murray Scher. Uh, Sharon, we're going to go with uh, Murray in three. Marketa Vondrasova and 24 seeded Annette Contevet. We're going to go with Vondrasova in three in the seeding upset. 12 seeded Victoria Azarenka and Katarina Kozlova. We're going to go with Arizenka in two. 31 seeded Daria Kasakina and Patricia Teague, we're going to go with uh, Teague in the upset in three. Six seated Serena Williams and Alexandra Sajnovic, we're going to go Serena in two. Elias Cornette in five seated Bianca and Drescu, we're going to Drescu in three. Greet Minin and Aldra Tomlovich, we're going to go Tomlovich in two. Emma Renanknu and Vitalia Diachenko. We're going to go with Diachenko in three. Katarina Sinyakova and Wong Tafan. We're going to go with Sinyakova in three. Nine seated Belinda Benchik and Kaja Juvan. We're going to go with Benchik in two. Olga Gorvastorva and Coco Van Wag. We're going to go with Van Wag in three. I think she could be a Cinderella run here to some degree. Alan Perez and Clara Burrell. We're going to go with Perez in three. And Layla Fernandez and Jelena Astapenko. We're going to go with Astapenko in three sets. All right. Now we're going to do news and notes for today. Um, Brandon Gallagher had blood covering his face in the game yesterday against Montreal. As he was leaking blood after he was tackled headfirst on the ice by Mikhail Sergachev. Uh, so, hopefully Gallagher will be okay for the rest of the series. And just that, which wasn't a pretty tackle by Sergachev. Here's something funny. Justin Trudeau and Joe Biden have a cup final wager. As Trudeau tweeted out the Biden... Um, a friendly wager that Biden agreed upon. The 2022 NHL All-Star Game will be in Vegas next season on the Strip. So that is cool news for the league. And then the 2022 draft will take place in Montreal. Um, Paul George says that he gets criticized more and that it's a fact. And he says, it comes with a job, I guess. I mean, you were playing in a big market, and you um, were acquired by L.A. with all these draft picks and a talented young player in Shea Gilgis Alexander. So, um, there's of course, there's going to be pressure on Paul George. There's a highlight replay in the College World Series as Vandy's Isaiah Thomas ran into a foul territory to make a great grab against Mississippi State. Gary Bettman mulls Olympic break as he has real concerns over pausing the season for the 2022 Olympics. And the NHLPA says... Um, the Yankees had a 70-year-old Batgirl last night, Gwen Goldman... Served as the Batgirl for the Yankees 60 years after she was turned down because of her gender. That's so cool that the Yankees did that. And this woman 
definitely has a memory that she'll never forget. Mike Trout out through the All-Star game as Joe Madden expects him to begin the rehab assignment after the All-Star break. Dylan Bundy vomited on the field against the Yankees due to heat exhaustion. And he puked beyond the mound. That was disgusting. Hopefully Bundy will be okay. Jake Evans came back from Montreal after that nasty hit in the Winnipeg series by uh, Mark Sheffley. So that's good to see. Former Hawks coach Lloyd Pierce could join Steve Kerr's staff with the Warriors. That'd be a nice assistant for Steve Kerr. Um, 76ers Ben Simmons um, is going to be in trade rumors and the team that's popped up is the Minnesota Timberwolves as they want Simmons badly as the local Minneapolis reporter ties to 76ers stars camp claims that the Wolves want to acquire the guard so we'll see what happens there um NHL 2022 Outdoor Games, Blues Wild, will be in Minneapolis. So that'll be pretty cool, whether it's Target Field or um, the uh, University of Minnesota Stadium. It'll be interesting. And then the uh, Stadium Series will be a Nissan Stadium as the Predators host the, uh, the Lightning. So two nice outdoor games for 2022, as uh, Barry, Gary Bettman announced in the uh, press conference before the final. Yesterday, Big Ten ACC matchups were released for basketball. Um, I know this isn't for a long way away, but there are some interesting ones, including Duke, Ohio State, um, at Ohio State. Um, North Carolina will host Michigan. Michigan State will host Louisville. I feel like that was a Big Ten ACC game a couple years ago. And then Syracuse will host Indiana. Um, and then also, um, Notre Dame at Illinois, Virginia at Iowa, which will be, or hosting Iowa, which will be not bad. Clemson at Rutgers. Um, Georgia Tech will host Washington, or I'm sorry, Wisconsin. Um, Florida State at Purdue, Miami at Penn State, Minnesota at Pitt, Nebraska at um, NC State, Virginia Tech at Maryland, and Northwestern at Wake Forest. And that is your uh, Big Ten ACC challenge for 2021. But now the question is, who's the team that's left out? There's always a team left out every year. And it looks like that team this year, unfortunately for them, is Boston College. The Toronto Maple Leafs are working hard on a Wayne Simmons deal as Toronto is hoping to bring back the winger on an extension. Trey Young has a bone bruise and... Obviously, is listed questionable for tonight's game. I think he will play. Maya Moore wins the Arthur Ashe Award as she'll be honored at the ESPYs for her work on criminal justice reform. So that's awesome for Maya Moore. Demarius Thomas retires as a five-time Pro Bowl wide receiver and Super Bowl champion announces his retirement after 10 seasons, and he says that he's going to retire a Denver Bronco, which is appropriate because... That's where he had his best years with Peyton Manning and made two Super Bowls with Denver as well. And last one, teams are eyeing Brandon Jacobs, the ex-Giants running back, says his agent has heard from three teams with interest in bringing him into training camp. So that's, so that's very interesting. Brandon Jacobs coming out of the retirement would be wild. I feel like he hasn't played in 10 years. So we'll see. Where that goes. All right. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, these are some harder ones for tonight. 
Um, I'm going to lay two units. With, let's see here. Hmm. I like the over eight and a half in Minnesota and the White Sox. I think that one of these teams will put up a good number. And even uh, Lucas Giolito um, hasn't been spectacular this year. So I'm going to like two units on over eight and a half between the Twins and the White Sox. Despite two solid pitchers, I think one of these bullpens will implode and one of these offenses might go off against one of the starters. So I'm going to go... Two units over eight and a half, minus 105 between the Twins and the White Sox. All right, so there you have it for today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything from the NBA Finals or NBA Conference Finals. Uh, Look at the tomorrow Stanley Cup Finals and uh, the West Game 6 between the Suns and the Clippers. Um, Baseball, WNBA, College World Series, UEFA. We'll recap UEFA. Um... We will also um, do my latest MLB mock draft, and we will have a pick for you for the Rocket Mortgage Classic, which is coming up starting Thursday. All right, I hope you guys have a great day, everyone.